Hello everybody, XP Gamer here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Last okay, we're doing this again. Last episode, we entered the Forbidden Woods after getting the Deku Leaf. And of course, we fought a lot of these choo-choos. This time, we're gonna, uh, keep, uh, We're gonna, um, I don't know why I was silent, but, um, we're going to go into the Forbidden Woods, even though we're already in it. We're gonna go in further into the for Forbidden Woods and see what we can uncover. So first off, we go this way. We have even more choo-choos. But, as you can see behind those, we have a treasure chest. Actually, something worth noting. You got the dungeon map very early on. We already know all this, blah, blah, blah. It's very abnormal to get the dungeon map this early on. Just gonna kill some more choo-choos. Alright, and now we can take a look at our dungeon map so far. So we can see this place is five floors overall. Um, each is pretty small though. Not very many rooms in each floor. But we're still going to be in here for a little while, so. Uh, I don't think this will help us yet. We have another one of those pot things. Those are in every dungeon. But I'm pretty sure if we go in it right now, it'll just spit us right back out because the other pot is blocked. So, you can't just go in this yet. You have to unblock the other side. Getting a lot of choo-choo jelly. I'm not sure if we'll even need that. We can also go this way. There are three ways we could possibly go right now. So, we can pick this thing up. Whatever this thing is. And as you can see, if you get close to this plant that's blocking the doorway, it closes up. So, you want to throw this at it from a distance to kill it and unblock the doorway. And in this room, you can see it's pretty big. It also extends up to floor three and maybe, well no, floor two and, yeah, and even up to floor three. So this is a pretty big room. It is like four floors big, I believe. Anyways, we have these flower things that we saw in the Forest Haven, which we can use to shoot up and use our Deku Leaf to fly away. Not exactly sure where I should be heading right now. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a while, so I may not sure, be sure exactly what I should be doing. But I'm pretty sure you should just go up here for now. Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, good. We didn't fall. I believe we can take this bomb and once again throw it at that thing. Well, okay. Throw it at that thing from a farther distance. That way it'll actually blow it up and now we can advance. Go, go, okay. And now, the first reason we've ever needed, well, the first... Yeah, first reason we've needed to use our Deku Leaf without being on the floor, or without being in the air. You can use them to blow these propeller things, and then, uh, which will move this little carrying system thing. Now you blow back at it to move us all the way to the other side, if I can get this right. There we go. No. I always have trouble with this. Oh, I only have to wait. No, no, no. Why am I doing this? Oh, okay. We're good. So you pretty much only have to hit it once, and then you should be good. I kind of want to... Yeah. All right, we made it. I wasn't sure if I should jump that or not. 
in this room we have another pretty open room a lot of the rooms in this place are very open and we have these p-hat things which we can find out are completely uh, undestroyable well at least until we blow some wind at them so you can basically just uh, hit them with a little gust of wind from your Deku leaf and they'll go down pretty easily go up here okay I assume those were just the things we'd be able to can I climb up this alright whatever I'm gonna kill you because you freaking had to pop out at me unexpectedly yeah we can all right. so there's five rupees up here that's pretty much all I don't even know why they just put those right there kill you and I believe this is the one, yes. Yes. Wait. No. Okay. Yes, yes. When you, some of these you have to kill because once you kill them, one of these sprout things will appear. And you're gonna be needing these. Uh. I think I want to be going down here right now. Yes. So if you wait around like I did, there is a treasure chest down here containing a red rupee. And there's one of these things. I'm pretty sure we're going to be needing this. Maybe not. Okay, clearly not considering we can't even get in the flower thing without it. So once we get up here, I believe... No, we still have to find a way to kill that thing. Alright. So, we're gonna jump on another one of these conveyor things. Use our Deku Leaf from here. Get some wind on that. And apparently we have to do it more than once this time. No, 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 no. That should be not good at all. Oh my god. Work. Okay, maybe I do have to hit this one from here. No, that just takes me back. What is wrong with this thing? I always have trouble here for like no reason at all. I don't know why. Like, you hit it, and then you hit the same exact side, and it turns around. Shouldn't it be you hit one side to make it go one way, and the other to make it go another way? I hope I can jump this. I think I will. Yes, alright. There we go, now we got this thing, and now we have to just get back there. Hopefully I can not have as much- Oh my- Okay, respawns, good. That could have costed me several minutes drop it this time not throw it Let's hope this works out the way I want it to no see now it's going the way I want it to alright there we go so we can throw it at that thing and finally be able to advance Okay, I didn't think we were doing this yet. In many of these rooms in this dungeon, we have these spiky plant things that I just happened to run into right now. And again... Uh... I actually forget how I should be doing- Oh my god! I'm getting too close. Oh yeah! So you want to hit this thing with a gust of wind from a distance to get it blown away from this spiky barrier. There we go. Pick it up, you know the drill by now, just throw it at that plant, and we should be good to advance. And in this next room, we have a giant plant thing that I thought was a, was actually a house on my first playthrough, like a house to the co-rock or something, and we have branches that are, look like weird mossy tongues. 
Um, this is pretty much the hub room. Yeah, it is the hub room because it's a whole five floors, and we're, this is like the first hub room. You're gonna be visiting it a lot. Uh, first off, let me just see what I should be doing. Do I have to hop down there? I think I may have to hop down there. Um, I kind of forget what I should be doing. Okay, so we have two of those flowers here. I don't think we can do anything with those guys yet, so, uh, let's just go back up and see what we can do. Also, that water is poisonous if it's purple coloring. Couldn't already tell you that. Can, can, okay, that was my fault. Wait, maybe it isn't poisonous. I could have sworn this water was poisonous. Alright. So we get up there. Hopefully I can do something right and actually see what I should be doing right now. Um, oh yes, yeah, alright, that's, yeah. So this is what we should be doing. Getting our grappling hook out and swinging across this gap. And now, here are those tongue platform things I mentioned earlier. Just basic platforming, just jump across. And now we have a locked door and we don't have any keys. So now let's go into the house place that I thought was a house, but it's literally just has like 10 rupees in it. Uh, carry this thing over here where you can see another one of those bright blue flowers that we can hit. And in this room, we have these things. Those things from earlier, much earlier, I believe, in the game. That uh, slow you down a lot. So, yeah. Just spin attack to get them off. If I can do a spin attack. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing important in that room. So, let's just... Oh. This room, it's pretty much a maze of um these spiky plant things that are, uh, so you just have to, like, try and make your way around. You can throw that bomb over there to break this. Okay, I thought there was going to be a barrier blocking right there. Which brings us to a chest. You got the compass. So we got both the dungeon map and the compass within 12 minutes of being in this dungeon. So now we can see the boss is on floor two, um, in that skinny little hallway, and we can see we still have quite a bit of treasure chest to go. Um, funny thing is, on my first playthrough of this game, I never saw that bomb flower there, and I made it to, um, to, through this dungeon without getting the compass or the dungeon map, simply because I didn't know at the beginning of the dungeon you could turn right. Also, I believe you can do this. Uh, no, I'm gonna... You can blow these leaves away, which can uh, uh, give you treasures. Mostly it's just rupees, but sometimes it's a lot more, so it's worth your time to not keep ramming into these things. So... Just watch your step around here, because as you can see, I've freaking taken a lot of damage off of these already. Pretty sure, yeah, we want to make our way over there. Where you can see that treasure chest, or, no, that's not a treasure chest. Alright. What's in there? I want to know what's in there. Curiosity is killing me. I have to go make it back. Ah. See, that's why you gotta be patient. I don't know why I'm targeting right now, but... So yeah. As you can see, you really should be patient, otherwise you'll take a lot of damage like I am. Okay, I thought those weren't there. Oh my, I'm gonna end up dying here, just from being impatient. 
So you want to throw this over there. And now we can go see what's in that treasure chest. I'm pretty sure it's nothing that you actually need. But still, it's rob I hope it's going to be worth taking like an extra three hearts of damage for. <clears throat> Alright, be something good. Small key, okay, so that actually was necessary. But it kind of made Link look like weird in the process. Be a heart. Thank you, that's exactly what I needed. No. I don't even want those things near me anymore. What's in you? Hearts. Thank God. Let's see what's in this last pot. Joy pendant. All right. Now we can leave this dreaded room. Just to get pestered by more of these things. Oh, okay, there is a chest down there. All right. Can you get off of me and let me open my chest? Yellow rupee, alright. Get away. Just gonna leave you guys alone. Fought enough choo-choos already. And from here, I believe the locked door was over, yes, this way. So we're going to use our new key, see what's in this way, and it's another one of these things. Along with some more pea hats, just blow them away. I'm pretty sure they actually can uh, rise back up, but oh well. Come over here. Get away from me. Go back. Okay, so I act, jeez, okay, I guess you really wanted to see me, huh? So I guess the trick to it is you just have to completely wait until the propeller is almost stopped because I got it through no problem there. Hello. Glad I didn't get urgent and hurry up and go up, okay. So that thing is a Mothula, they um, basically just, like, run around spastically and spit these little um slowy spike guys at you so we can kill any of these i'm pretty sure any one you kill no matter what one it is will uh make a flower pop out and we have another one of these guys just get away So we can climb up this tree just to meet even more of these guys. Get out of here. And I believe going through this way is, yes, the mini boss. This is just what we just fought. It's a Mothula, but this time it a actually has wings. Eventually, these will become normal enemies. Uh, if it can stop damaging me, I'll show you how to kill it. It's not really hard. Just kind of slash at it when you get the chance. Come on. Oh, yeah, you can parry it, too, when it comes to swoop at you like that. And eventually it loses its wings and it becomes what we just fought.
not hard, can kill it really easily, there's really no strategy, just get ready to parry or just slash at it if you want. And once you kill it, you get access to the dungeon item. You got the boomerang. Set it and throw it with X, Z, or Y. Target specific object by holding the button you set it to and aiming at something until a red targeting cursor changes to a mark. You can target up to five objects at once. We don't need no grappling hook this time. We got a boomerang. And not only is this just any boomerang, it's... Okay. It's a better boomerang than ever before. Uh, if I actually paid attention, I'd know how to do this. What button do you press? Oh, okay, you don't press any button. But, um... You can target several different things if you go over them. We have two little uh, light things here. And if you go over them both, you can target and hit them both at the same time. It's pretty useful compared to most Zelda boomerangs. Even though some are very powerful and are even so powerful that they are optional items. But still, that, the uh, fact that you can target different enemies with them, or more enemies at once... Also, they take out P-Hats very quickly. And I'm pretty... Yeah, they permanently kill their wings for good. So you won't have to worry about them coming back if you kill them with these. You can also hit them from far away as long as they're close enough that you can actually be able to target them. And you can kill them from far away. And you can also hit these uh, plant things from far away. So it has many different uses already within the first like room of having it. And it can target up to five things at once. You can basically just knock out all of these spiky things. Didn't even hit any of them there. Alright, there we go. Now, uh... I'm gonna cut down this grass. Uh, it's blocking my view. Because I don't exactly remember what to be doing here. Or if this is even where I should be going yet. Um... I'm not sure. Should I be here yet? I mean, it doesn't look like I can really do anything. I'm guessing not. So, let's go a different path. Also, let's... Uh, there's a treasure chest somewhere. Is it down a floor? Here? No, okay. Uh, I don't know where that treasure chest is, but I'm not gonna bother with it. Just get me up there. Okay, the door is down. Alright. So it does count as the same floor. Um. Just, just die. No. Boom, right, there we go. Get out of here. You're no match for me anymore. With hitting the tree, there we go. Uh, I believe I'm going the right way. Yeah, all right. So, what you should do by now is ride this tongue thing over to here onto this one. Once those tongue elevators reach the top, we have a little pile of leaves. Which hides a cauldron. I'm actually going to go into this one to see if it takes us anywhere. 
Okay, yes, this is the cauldron that leads you back to the beginning of the dungeon. So, quick little shortcut if you need it. Anyways, now that all that's done, we made our way through the Forbidden Woods. Got the dungeon map, the compass, and the boomerang. No, 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 I don't want to target those yet. Don't want to. Alright, there we go. Next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we're going to target those vines that I just did and let loose our new item. See you guys then.